And then I like to use a tremolo too. I'm really traveling in space. My name is Stephen Ham. I am your theremin man, and we are today at Little Red Sounds in New Westminster. I have been in slow. Tank hog, ogre, roots roundup, jungle, canned ham. It's just a block away. The power failures. Sunday morning, the evaporators. And now I'm doing this. The theremin is an early 20th century electronic instrument. It was actually invented 100 years ago by a Russian physicist named Lev Sergeyevich Theremin. It's the only instrument that we know of that you play without touching it. The closer you get to the antenna, the higher the pitch goes. And on the left hand, you have your volume, so that's how you shape the notes. And you get your volume and... That's a theremin. There's a reason why sci-fi movies use the theremin, but it works really well for drone. It works really well with other electronic instruments. So there is definitely an outer, outer space. You're gonna go into outer space when you play the theremin, you can't help it. A few years back, probably about five years ago, I realized there wasn't really in a band for the first time in my life, which was amazing. So I bought myself a, a theremin, couldn't play it to save my life. Started doing uh, a one-man band show, and I was like, I'm just gonna put the theremin in and, and do this, you know? And um, that's where I started, and then the instrument just sort of started to sing to me. I watched some online videos, but then two years, two summers ago, I went to um, France, and I took lessons from probably the premier um, theremin player in the world right now, Carolina Eich. What the appeals to me is it sounds like no other synthesizer. You can't, you can dial something up on a, on a, a synth that sounds like this, but it, it sounds like it's from another world. It sounds like a, it sounds like a, you know, has a, almost a vocal quality to it. It's music from the ether. It's a very peaceful instrument, it seems like, as opposed to playing, you know, heavy rock bass. This allowed me to be a kid again and play. So yeah, it's a mature instrument, but it also helped me to sort of connect with what, why I started doing music in the first place, which is that place where you, it's like meditation. And this instrument is like playing, is, is like meditation in that you just get lost in the instrument and your mind shuts off. And that's a fantastic thing. That's the reason I played punk rock in the first place. Same thing, shut your mind off. <laughs> 